All right, to finish up F2 in model theory, we're going to have to talk about free and bound pronouns. So these will behave a little bit differently. Bound pronouns are C commanded by their antecedents. So in the case of every woman thinks that she is great, she and every woman refer to the same thing. So these are given the same index of one. These numbers will be important because they're going to behave the same way as traces do in terms of replacement. When we do uh, T1 or whatever now pointing to D, this is going to mean that every woman is D and then she is also D. In the case of free pronouns, these are just not C commanded. So some biologist knows her, her is someone else in the discourse who is not the biologist. So what will happen with these ones is these will just get a number. So then in our assignment function, we would have to see who this is. So maybe two is Mary. So then once we say some biologist knows her, we're really saying some biologist knows Mary. So uh, for free pronouns, let's say we have assignment function G where one goes to Mary, two goes to Sue and three goes to Tina. We're gonna see what happens with free pronouns. So I'm just gonna do the ones that are relevant to us here. So her, when we take the value of her, we're just gonna get the assignment function applied to her too. And this same thing is going to continue up the chain up till we get to the NP. So I'll just write this in for both of these, G of her too. And this is also G of her too. When we now look at our verb phrase, we're gonna take information from the verb, which is transitive. So at this point, hopefully I don't have to write out what likes is. We should be able to understand that this is going to be the set of X such that X likes, and we're gonna place G of her two into this position. Now, when we get to the sentence, we're gonna have Tina. So if we just do the meaning for Tina here, we're gonna get this as like say T prime. So our sentence is going to be true if and only if T prime is going to be an element of our set. So the set of X likes G of her two, but now we can evaluate it. So we take a look at our assignment function. We say, okay, her two points to Sue. So uh, this is going to be true if Tina is in the set of X such that X likes Sue. So what we did was we just waited to evaluate this at the very end and use this assignment function in order to evaluate that. Now with bound pronouns, we're gonna have something a little bit different. So, up until, well, let's just go up to the very first sentence. So this noun phrase at the bottom right here with himself is just going to be G of himself one. So we index it with one because it's going to correspond to every student. Every student knows himself, meaning that each individual student knows who they are. They themselves are. So that'll be G of himself. Uh, the VP will be the set of X such that X knows G of himself. So the sentence is going to be true if and only if uh, G of our trace one is going to be an element of the set of X such that X knows, and this is going to be G of himself one. So if every student knows himself, basically this is going to be in predicate logic. Uh, for all x, if x is a student, then x is going to know x. So this is essentially what we're going for in the end. So we can see here that eventually, when we do our little binding, uh, himself and g of t1 are both going to go to d. So uh, now with every student, we are now just doing our little shift here in terms of assignment function reevaluation. So this is going to be true if, now we're gonna say, because it's every student or all D in our universe, if D is in the set of X such that X is a student, then, and we're just gonna take this bit right down here, and we're going to copy and paste it here, but we're going to make some adjustments. 
So now instead of D being in the set of X such that X knows himself one, we've now changed one to point to D. So it's gonna be if D is the set of X such that X is a student, then D is gonna be in the set of X such that X knows D. In other words, D is going to know D. So for every, for every D, if D is a student, then D knows D. So D knows himself. And we could have used herself or themselves here. What matters is we have a reflexive pronoun here, and in this case, it is bound. So hopefully that was enough to get the point across here. If you have any questions, you can always ask down below. Um, but if you're curious about what all the other nodes in the tree are supposed to be, the previous videos should cover that.